Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to clear YouTube playlists using YouTube Data API in Python. So there are a couple reasons why you may want to delete videos to empty out your playlist instead of uh, deleting a playlist and recreate the same playlist. For one reason, you may want to reserve your SEO score, or you simply don't want to rewrite all the descriptions or tags for your playlist. Now let's take a look at the resource we'll be using. For this exercise, I'll be using the playlist items resource followed by the delete method. And here's the playlist I'll be using. So this playlist is called test one. And there are 74 videos attached to this playlist. Now let's go into our Python editor. And here's my code snippet. So within this uh, Python script, from the Google module, I import the create source function. And you can download the source code in the link in the description below. And followed by the information we need to provide to create the YouTube data service instance. So we need to provide the client secret file. We need to provide the API name, API version, and the scope. And for the scope, I'll be using the YouTube scope, which is going to request write and read permission from user. And here's the service creation statement. And to get started, I'm going to create a variable called playlist item, playlist ID. I'm going to grab my playlist I want to clear, so which is this one here. In the URL, I'm going to grab the playlist ID and just copy and paste to the playlist ID variable. Next, I need to grab all the uh, playlist items, so all the items in this playlist, and I want to store all the items in a playlist object. Here I'm going to insert my service object dot playlist items dot list, and I'm going to assign content details category to the parts parameter. Also need to provide playlist ID to the playlist ID parameter. And for the max results, I'm going to type 50 and the execute. So here I'm going to store all the items to an object called playlist items. And from the response object, I want to reference the items key. In case if there are additional batch of uh, results we need to retrieve, so we want to check whether or not if, uh, if next page token is available. So here I'm going to insert response object. And I'll use the get method. And I want to grab the next page token value if the value exists. And to grab additional batch of results. So here I'm going to insert while loop. And I'm going to check against the next page token object. And I'm going to say that if next page token is not none, they want to uh, append all the items to the playlist items object. I need to change this to extend, so extend the playlist items. And once we have all the playlist items, we can iterate each item and delete the video from our playlist. So I can insert a loop. I'm going to say that for item in playlist, oops, playlist items. I want to insert a service object that playlist items that delete. And we need to provide the playlist item ID. So I'll insert the item object and I'll insert the ID reference that execute. And here I'm going to insert message deleting and here I'm going to say that process complete. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Now let me go back to my playlist. If I refresh the page, 
and this playlist still has 74 videos. Now if I go back and press F5 to run the script, in here I'm getting an error. Oh, so it seems like uh, I exceed the quota. And let me change my client file real quick. Hold on. So I'll use a secret file from a different project. So this one should be, let's do JJ hosting, JJ hosting dot JSON. All right, let me try again. So if I press F5 to run the script. Oh, and I need to de uh, delete my pickle file. So it's the pickle file right here. Right, so if I press F5 to run the script. I'm going to choose my account, events, and click on this link to proceed. I'm going to give permission to the, to the app. Okay. And it seems like uh, there's something going on. Here, let me terminate the session. Let me just double check. Providing playlist. So here I forgot to provide the page token to the uh, list method. And that was the issue. All right, let me try again. So if I press F5 to run the script, let me just double check. Okay, so the playlist has 74 videos. Now if I press F5 to run the script, I can see that it's deleting uh, each item. Okay, so the process has been complete. Now if I go back to my playlist and press F5 to refresh, and that leads me with four videos, and if I press uh, F5 again, and now this playlist is completely empty. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.